Good morning here at uh, Hagerbach Next 50 Festival. Welcome to the Amberg Technology Tunneling Unit. My name is Philip, I'm the sales manager. At Amberg Tunnel, we develop software solutions for underground construction work. Today, my colleague Lee, our application engineer, is going to take you through an entire workflow of shotcrete layer thickness measurement using modern laser scanning technology. Enough said now, over to you, Lee. Thank you, Philip. Okay, so the first step in the process is to measure the position of the laser scanner. So to do that, the software will guide us through the process. So we simply need to point the red laser to one of the prisms we have mounted on the laser scanner and press measure. We only approximately need to point the laser. It will lock onto the target and measure it. We have graphical and text display telling us what to do at every point. Now it's telling us to measure the second prism. It will take, again, one or two seconds to measure that. It is now telling us to measure the sphere, which is the third and final prism. I will point now to the sphere and press measure. It is now telling us that the measurement is done. We can store and we can start scanning. So I'll go ahead and start scanning. And the scanner now will start scanning. So what we have done there was we use the APM positioning method. The Amberg positioning method uh, consists of two spheres, two prisms on the laser scanner, and one prism inside a sphere over here. And once we, it's a, once we determine the position, uh, we store them and we have the, the, uh, the laser scanner in absolute coordinates. So what we're using here is we're using a, a, a total station, which is connected to the uh, coordinate system of the project, and the laser scanner, which is a relative system. But with the APM, we give the laser scanner absolute coordinates. We're using the Leica RTC360 in this example, but we could also be using the Faro uh, Focus or the ZNF scanner. Once the scan is completed, a full 360 scan, it will process and it will send the raw data from the scanner to the tablet over Wi-Fi. And this can take 20, 30 seconds, uh, or it can depend. It can depend on the resolution we have configured, which is all configurable in the software. Uh, we're using a low resolution on the scanner because it, it, it creates sufficient, uh, sufficient points uh, for this application. So once the data is transferred, then it will be processed and converted into our own internal format and then pre presented for analysis. The, one of the final steps is for uh, the, us to validate that this laser scanner picked up the sphere, which is part of our Amberg positioning method. I can see here that it has picked it up correctly. So I will go ahead and press uh, continue. So now the scanner is being placed into the project coordinate system, and we can evaluate the results. So we can see here that in a matter of, of minutes, we can view the results. So what we have here, we have the, the white line is the theoretical profile. So this is our, our theoretical tunnel design. And the dotted colored points are our measurements. These measurements are extracted from the point cloud uh, directly and evaluated directly in the, in the tunnel. So we can use the forwards and backwards buttons to select different points on the profile. So for example, we have a 4.4 centimeters of layer thickness at this point on the tunnel. We can also navigate forwards and backwards through the profiles, through different heading stationing ranges. So at the moment, we are at heading stationing 1.050. We can look at the results at 1.1, 1.1. 1, 5, and so on. We can also go to the 2D color map view. So this 2D color map view is a flattened projection of the tunnel. So if we look at the tunnel here, it's a, almost like a cylindrical shape. This is the tunnel flattened, projected into a plane. And each color here is customizable. It represents a different layer thickness. And we can configure this as, as, you, as we want. 
this area here in the middle is a band of shotcrete that was applied to the tunnel wall. So we can, for example, select anywhere inside this area, and we can see the corresponding position where that is in the tunnel wall. Now, if I press this button, the, lasers, the total station will turn and point the red laser to this area of interest. So it gives the users direct, uh, direct visibility to the areas of interest. So I will go ahead and do that now. And the total station is pointing the red laser directly to this area of interest. And of course, we can continue this process uh, uh, with all of, the, all of the areas of interest. There is also a 3D view, which loads all of the, the points into a 3D environment where we can move and vi visualize it uh, in 3D also. These color schemes, again, here on the bottom is the ranges that we defined, but we can define more or less ranges depending on your, on your application. So now we are seeing the 3D view. I would just need to turn around and point to the area of interest, which is here. And we can see these areas of shotcrete with the different layer thicknesses applied to the tunnel wall. So once with this real-time uh, analysis, we might also want to take this data back to the office, uh, recreate the results, and do more with the data, such as create volumes uh, and overbreak and underbreak analysis and so on. So to do that, we would just simply go back to the main menu, go to the project management, export measurements, and export. This project will export everything in one single file, and then we can bring that into the office and take it from there. So we will take a look at the office process now. OK, now that we have the data captured in the tunnel, the next step is to import the file, the Amberg Navigator file, into Amberg Tunnel Office software. So here I have Amberg Tunnel open. So to open the existing project file, I will go to File, Open Project, and on my desktop here I have the project file, so I will double click on the file to open it. And here we have in the project, we have an, an, our axis and our tunnel design. In the tunnel we capture the scan approximately here. Now in this project we already have an analysis of the excavation compared to the theoretical design that was captured at an earlier point in time. So this would correspond to perhaps the beginning stage of the construction process. On the right hand side we can see the various sites, headings and analysis associated with the headings. In this small project we just have one analysis which is the existing excavation analysis. So I will double click to open it and here we have the derolled view of the tunnel, a flattened view of the tunnel. And if I click anywhere here on the uh, derolled map, we can see the corresponding profile view. And the colors represent the various ranges of deviation from the theoretical design. Now we have captured a new scan and we want to compare this, this new scan with the existing scan to determine the thickness of shotcrete and the volume of shotcrete. So to do this, we will need to import the data from the tunnel and we will need to create a new analysis. So I will go ahead and close down this existing analysis. On the left hand side here, on the very top level of the project tree, I will right click and choose Import from Hamburg Navigator Tablet. On the desktop, I will select the file. We can see here that the file is, uh, everything is exported from Hamburg Navigator in one file. So if we captured more than one scan, they would still all be contain contained within the uh, Navigator project file, one single file. So I will double click on the file to import it and it will usually import in a few seconds or it may take a little bit longer if you have multiple scans. Now that the data is imported, we can go and view the data. So I will go down to the Shotcrete construction stage, open the point cloud editor, and here we can see our scan is imported. We can go ahead and double click on this scan to open it in 3D view. And here we can 
edit the data. For example, we can filter out uh, the unnecessary uh, points here. We have a number of very quick filtering tools to do this. Uh, alternatively, we can just select the polygon tool to delete the points. And with the points deleted, now we need to commit those changes to save the, remove the filtered uh, points from the point cloud. So now that the filtered points are removed, I can go ahead and close down the editor. Now the next step is to create an analysis. To do this, I'll right click on the analysis here and choose Add Point Cloud Analysis. The analysis type we want in this case is a layer thickness analysis. This will compare two scans from two different construction stages or one construction stage against another construction stage. So I will call this S for scan and I will just call it layer thickness. And next, now we need to select a reference construction stage for display and calculations. Uh, this is correct. The default, the excavation is the reference construction stage. The original construction stage again is excavation but the comparison construction stage is shotcrete. I'll go ahead and hit next. The resolution we will set to five centimeters. This is fine. I will go ahead now and hit finish. Now the next step is to process the data. We can see here on the left hand side that we have some data available within this stationing range. I will select from zero to 30, as I know this is the area of interest uh, for us, and right click and choose process selected. It will take uh, a few seconds or, or, or a minute or so to process the data. It depends on the resolution of the source data and the amount of scan in the various construction stages. Once the processing has completed, the uh, icons here on the left hand side will change from green to, uh, yes, to green. So now we can see we have the um, analysis and we can see here we have the layer thickness results. So if I click on this point here, this band here represents the layer thickness. We can see here the layer thickness value. Likewise, if I click here in an area that was not changed, we can see we have zero millimeters of a change. We can also right click, go to settings, and we can colorize it so that it's the same as what we saw on Navigator. To do this, I have a saved color map scheme. I will import it. I have it saved here in a folder on my desktop. And I will apply. And I will change the transparency to zero and choose OK. Now we have a analysis, layer thickness analysis in the office that corresponds to what we saw in real time in the tunnel using Amberg Navigator. Now we might like to export a, a volume calculation of this layer thickness uh, results. So I can see here we have layer thickness uh, being sprayed from approximately stationing uh, four to stationing seven. So Maybe I will choose uh, layer thickness results from stationing two to stationing eight and evaluate that, that information. So to do this, I will go up here to the tab report and I will choose stationing two as my start and stationing eight as the end and hit OK. And now we can preview the results and we can see here that we have sprayed 20 cubic meters of shotcrete in that area. So that concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, please do get in contact with us. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> Great, isn't it? Layer thickness measurement at its best. It's fast, it's precise, and it's in real time. But why is it important to measure shotcrete layer thickness? As a contractor, you want to apply the right amount, not too much, not too little. The right amount also means you enhance, uh, you increase safety and you're optimizing your cost.
This concludes our little demonstration here at Ambeck Technology Tunneling Unit. Thank you very much for watching. We say bye from the Hagerbach Next 50 Festival and wish you a wonderful day. Bye for now. Bye for now.